Welcome to Sports Talk. I'm Mary Mock. I'm here with Coach Jeff Johnson, Athletic Director for Chipola College. We're going to talk a little bit about this upcoming baseball season. Thanks, Mary. We, we're, in a, we're in the middle of our season right now. We're 15 and 11. Uh, hadn't started off as well as we wish we would have, but we've got a bunch of new guys and it's a new team and trying to work our way through that. We start conference this weekend uh, over at Northwest Florida on Friday, back here on Saturday at 1 o'clock. So, you know, I hope we'll have a good crowd over here to, to open up the conference season. Well, this beautiful weather, like we want everybody to come out. So uh, you said Saturday, what time? Saturday, Saturday here at 1. We one. play over at Northwest at 2. And then our last non-conference game is tomorrow uh, against Gordon State. We'll okay. play them at 3 o'clock here tomorrow. Okay. That's great, yeah. Which, which is Wednesday. We'd love to have everybody out. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about our players, kind of how that's looking this year. You know, we got a new, we got a new group offensively. Uh, Aiden, Aiden Espinal has kind of led us in hitting. Uh, he. He's hitting, I think, 354 on the year. He's got 27 RBIs. He's a leadoff hitter and second baseman for us. Just a great kid and plays hard uh, on a daily basis and really like what he's doing to kind of set the table for our team. Um, Brady Browning's got the most home runs on the team right now. I think Brady's hitting 329 with nine home runs and 32 RBIs. And J.P. Ortiz has been another one. J.P.'s hit uh, seven home runs right now, and he's hitting 338 for us. But that's the three guys probably, you know, offensively that have – you know, kind of carried the load for us. We've had some injuries. Uh, Evan Ames is coming back off an injury, big powerful left-handed hitter for us as well. So hopefully we can get him in there and some other guys continue to turn it up. we gotta, we got to really work on getting a lot better than we are right now to be successful in the yeah. conference. Okay. You you know, getting started good, you know, got to get it started somewhere. No doubt, no um, doubt. And, you know, on the pitching end of it, you know, Chase Nelson – uh, has done a good job for us so far. Chase is two and o, or two and two for us right now. Rob Evans is three and one, and then Dylan Haynes transferred from Stetson. Uh, Dylan Dylan's three and zero for us. So you know we're still trying to figure out who's going to throw this weekend and who's going to start each you know the conference game to start with. Who we bring out of the bullpen and and all the pieces to that. We're still trying to figure those things out. But uh, you know it's early in the year. But but you know mm -hmm. get to the conference season, you better better be ready to go. Yeah. So you said we're getting ready for some conference play. How's that conference outlook looking? You know, I really think our conference team, our conference outlook, our conference teams, I think it's probably deeper than it's been in a long time. Might be as deep as it's been in, in my time here at Chipola. Uh, Northwest Florida's got some really good arms. They got a good club over there. I think Gulf Coast, uh, Tyler Younger down there has done a really good job down there. He's got a couple of top flat left handed pitchers. They swing the bat well. Brian Llewellyn over in Pensacola, we played them in a non conference game. They beat us the other day. They're very physical offensively, and I think they got some depth in their pitching staff. And then Brian Henry's the new coach at Tallahassee. Brian mm -hmm. played at he played at North Florida Junior College and played at Florida State and and uh, played a little pro ball. He took over Coach McLeod. He retired. He retired after thirty five years, I think it was. And and Brian's doing a good job. But you know, got a got a good group of young coaches who are. You know who are fun to be around. It'd be a lot more fun if we can beat them a little bit, but they're good guys and <laughs> it's and, coming. Yeah, yeah. And enjoy enjoy being around those guys, and they're doing a good job as well. Okay, all right. Anything you want to tell us about this season? What we look forward to? You know, we just we just got to continue to build and grow. Uh, you know, like I said, we we've had a few injury issues and, and having to move some guys around here and there, position player wise, and and development the development piece of it has still got to got to continue for us to be successful and be where we want to. You know, I think our work work ethic needs to improve. You know, our, our intensity levels need to improve a little bit. But we, we've got the talent to have a good club. It's just, you know, we got to, we got to stay injury-free the rest, the rest of the way out and, and understand how to play the game and, and how to do things uh, – to win ball games, more right. or less, you know the well, little things that you do to win games. We've got a Hall of Fame coach, so I think we got that. We got a squared way. We just got to get it there. Well, sometimes I wonder about that, but we, you know, <laughs> each team, each team has its own, you know, different set of, uh, of, of ways you have to get better, and the ways to win games, and the strengths and weaknesses of each team, and and you know, I think it's this team. We got to figure out how we got to play and understand the way you play to win. We hadn't. We hadn't really understood, you know, the I, I call it there's three phases as far as making the routine plays, executing your offense, and you know, and, and the pitchers, you know, commanding the ball and throwing strikes. And you know, if you can do those three, all three of those phases in one day, you you can win most all your games. If somehow you do two or less, you got a chance of losing them. And and on some days so far, we hadn't done any of the three. So oh. you know, that's where we got to we got to we got to understand how to play and, and learn and 
and, and then bring it up, bring it on a daily basis. We'll play good one day, and then the next day we kind of you know, look like we haven't played played very much. So hopefully we can get there and get the season going the right way. And you know, it's it's the it's the type of the part of the season where I I enjoy it getting in this conference part of the season, and and hopefully we can get to playing better. Okay. We're looking forward to consistency on the team and on the, out on the field and all that. We'll do great things. No so. doubt. No all doubt. Right. Thank you all, and thank you for doing the show with us. And, yeah. and hopefully we can get a good group out on tomorrow, on Wednesday, to see Gordon at 3, and then we'll have Northwest Florida here on Saturday at 2. Okay. Thank you all so much. We'll see you out on the field.